Okay, wow, SAT math question. Okay, let's go to the information. A yeah, square map has side lengths of 120 inches. One inch on the map represents nine miles. On a smaller version of the map, the side lengths are 40 percentage smaller than the larger map. What is the actual distance represented by one inch on the smaller map? Okay, so let's understand the information rather than the question with an example. So let's consider uh, two uh, square maps. One is smaller and the other one is uh, larger. Okay, so here uh, let me consider the side length of the larger square is, uh, for example, 100 centimeter. And uh, the side length of the smaller square is going to be 50 centimeter. Okay, so that is uh, to get the length, uh, side length of the smaller map, I just reduced 50 percentage uh, of the side length of the uh, larger square. And also the actual distance uh, for this 100 centimeter is assumed to be uh, 250 miles, for example. And uh, so here, if I ask a question, what is the actual distance uh, for the smaller map uh, where uh, the side length represents 50 centimeter? So immediately all the people will say 125 miles. Is it correct? No, it's not correct. So because we can reduce, I mean, we can decrease or increase the size of the map for our convenience, but the actual distance will never change. Whatever actual distance we have in the larger map, the same actual distance we have in the smaller map too. So because if I reduce, I mean, if I change the actual distance, what will happen? So whatever area covered in the larger map, so only 50% of the area will be covered in the smaller map. Definitely it won't help the people who are using the smaller map. Okay, now let me consider uh, the three cities A, C, B in the larger map. Let's say the distance between A and B is uh, 250 miles and uh, C is the midpoint of A and C. Then what is the distance between A and C? It will be 125 and it's 125. In case, uh, as we are thinking, that is the uh, actual distance also has to, be, has to be reduced by 50% of the smaller map. So instead of 250, what will happen is we'll consider 125 miles. Then what will happen? Can we get the same area over here? No, we cannot. So because here it's a uh, 50 centimeter represents of 125 miles, then you will cover uh, only the two cities A and C because the distance between A and C is 125 miles. So from C to B will not be covered in the smaller map. So for our convenience, sometimes we'll be using smaller maps, sometimes we'll be using larger map, even uh, sometimes we'll be using uh, like uh, side links which are greater than what we have in the larger map. So the size of the map may change, but the actual distance in each map uh, must be same. So whatever actual distance we have in the larger map, the same distance we must have in smaller map too. Okay, according to the information, in the larger map, one inch represents nine miles. Okay, so one inch represents nine miles. But according to the information we have in the question, in the larger map, so the side lengths are going to be reduced by 40 percentage. That is 40 percent smaller than the large map, larger map means. So uh, like uh, the length has to be in the larger map, the length has to be reduced by 40 percentage. Then this length, this one inch also will be reduced by 40 percentage. When I uh, decrease this one inch by 40 percentage, then the 60 percentage of this length uh, will remain, will be remaining. So when I uh, take 60 percent of this one inch, it will be 0 0.6 inches. What about the actual distance, nine miles? It will remain same as I explained the concept over here. So in the larger map, one inch represents uh, nine miles. But when I come to the smaller map, 0 0.6 inches represents the same actual distance, nine miles. Only the size of the map changes, the actual distance will never change. So because I reduce 40 percentage of this one inch, uh, so it becomes 0 0.6 inches. So in the smaller map, 0 0.6 inches uh, represents nine miles of actual distance. But the target of the question is in the smaller map, so what is the actual distance uh, represented by one inch? So that is one inch represents, what is the, uh, one inch represents the actual distance. What is the actual distance represented by one inch? So that's the target of the question. So the ratio given over here, the ratio given over here represent the same stuff because both of them uh, represent the smaller map. That is 0 0.6 inches uh, represents the nine miles of actual distance. One inch in the, on the smaller map represents what actual distance? That is x. So since both the ratios represent the same, we can equate them. So now uh, to solve for x, I can write each ratio as a fraction, then I'm getting 0 0.6 over 9 equals to 1 over x. Okay, so here we have x in denominator, we have to solve for x. Since we have to solve for x, we need x in numerator. So for that, we can take reciprocal on both sides. When I take reciprocal on both sides, I'm getting 9 over uh, 0 0.6 equals to the reciprocal of 1 over x is x over 1, or simply we can write it as x. 
when I divide 9 by 0 0.6, it will be uh, 15. So the value of x is uh, 15. That is 1 inch on the smaller map will represent uh, 15 miles.